Good day. We have the equinox today. Thank you for being here. It's Sunday. Ascended star. I hope everyone's doing well. We have a little spread here, okay? I got some notes. Thank you for coming, checking me out for the first time or for um, coming back. Back, back, back. I love you. Um, okay, so listen. My notes that I took, <laughs> some downloads before I forget. Okay, so there's no other like, there is no other like you. I didn't write that down. I was thinking too fast. Uh, meanwhile, you're moving on, propelled by the one and only unique fuel, yours. You're on fire, okay? You, I think of the Caribbean, the French Riviera, Sicily, Italy, and um, there was a channeled song, but I, I went too fast. So somebody can't stand the distance anymore. Um, they thought it was going to be different. And uh, the song, channeled song is, uh, I can't stand the rain against my window. I can't sing because I got that song in the background. But I heard code red or no cold, AWOL, cold, can't find you. And it's in your energy. It's unique. So that's what we have. Okay. And then I was I was uh, taking out some cards, shuffling them. And then this this came out. So I just wanted to show you before we really get into it, honeys. Um, you're working hard, okay? And you're getting the downloads. Some of you are really getting the downloads right now because of the equinox, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, the equinox and the eclipse. The, we're in the eclipse window, by the way. We're starting this eclipse and then into the next eclipse is the eclipse tunnel and window. That's why I was like, probably I heard, I can't stand the rain against my window. And then we have you being defensive. I think that's why they're in, in, I think, you know, this is what came out, Nine of Swords, where there's a lot of anxiety. They can't sleep. They're, basically, they're sad because you're getting a beautiful outcome. The sun has been coming out. You you have clarity of mind. You know what you want. You're not letting things or people, uh, anything get in the way, okay? But things are going to, obstacles, things that have been trying to block you and stop you. And so there's a, there's a lot of clarity coming within this eclipse window where the collective is, is functioning from a higher uh, healed part of themselves, okay? The healing has happened in the inner child. A lot of inner child healing has taken place. This person hasn't been able to catch up. Okay, so this is them having regrets. And because why? They put you in a seven of cups, okay? They put you in a seven of cups, all right? We're going to get a lot of opposition for these messages. So um, let me put the music back on. There's also like a, a pressure and like a hurry, you know, to get stuff done. So there we we can feel the higher the higher beings, the healers, the clairvoyants, they can feel that there's like something um pending, okay? And it could be that these men or these masculines, you don't have to be a man, are getting a fire under their butts to wake up. So don't let don't let the, the good one go. Yeah, look, spirit, spirit, Taurus energy, and they want to come in, and, and they're like, oh, you might have a lot of masculines coming in, like, um, I don't know, there's like chaotic energy, but let's see if it's the music, let me change this, or let me turn it down, all right, so I might have to turn it up if in case it gets louder, but let's see, spirit, thank you so much for these messages. We're just going to do nine cards and um, see what messages come out for the collective. Sending you guys so much love and light. You know, this, uh, these eclipses, people got it all mixed up. They're not meant for you to go and take a look at them like, you know, an NFL game. They're really meant to go inward and be receptive and uh, receptive. Okay, they're, they're signs... There's a saying that signs in the sky 
our happenings on earth and eclipses are massive signs okay also let's 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 find out what's going to get eclipsed out of your life that ain't working for you anymore because you're not on your destiny and you've been in denial bottom yeah exactly ten of swords look at this crazy i'm telling you there's there's some energy people are going to be so like i feel like throw, throwing people under the bus energy okay look at that somebody's leaving oh my god carolina hello my love greetings greetings somebody's leaving and they want to come back to you they're trying to gather the strength to leave someone major arcana impulsive they want to they want to work they want to work somebody wants to work with you want to manifest make this manifest they want to man they have to leave someone somebody has to leave someone to yep they know where their ten of cups is at with the collective but they haven't been communicating so ain't nothing going to happen right and the cycle hasn't closed three major arcana is all done lined down okay so somebody's like getting epiphanies and somebody's like waking up and somebody's saying oh i better do this i better do that and then like you know they're they're gonna try to act so the, within this window okay this ecliptic window you're gonna get communication somebody's gonna want to communicate it's somebody who uh it could be a child if you're a mother it could be a very young person of mind maybe not a Let's see, because this page of wands could be a very immature mother. <sighs> yeah, somebody knows that you're dealing with somebody immature, and this is, or you as a divine feminine know that your masculine is dealing with a very immature mother. You have a, wow, you have a king of cups here watching you. You make this person very happy. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, somebody ultimately wants to be with you. Two of wands. But, I mean, that's what they ultimately want to do. Is close this cycle with you like that. But that's not happening. Okay, yeah, you have somebody here where you, you've been very contemplative. I think you're moving on. I think you're just like, you know, divine timing. You've waited. So how how much longer do you have to wait? Divine timing is here. Not much longer, says divine timing. Temperance, please stay patient. You you know, I think this is going to be test time, the eclipses. Are you going to let it go? Or are you going to go, go, are you going to go save it in the fire? <laughs> are you going to go save, are you going to go try to save, save something that's burning in the fire? You know, and be careful because I've been getting a lot of hits on fire. I got it before this uh, thing that happened in, in Russia. And then I, I know I've been, I just know I have to be very careful. We have to be very careful with fire right now. And it's a fire, maybe because people's energy could get activated very quickly, right? Yeah. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to come and give you their cup. Somebody wants to come maybe apologize. Because, yeah, but again, you have very slow moving energy. This person could be at a distance from you. But they, it's like they feel like, okay, somebody feels they have a lot of time and somebody else feels they don't have a lot of time. And I think it's the divine feminine who feels they don't have a lot of time. Yeah, nine. Look at that. You're content. Divine feminine is content. You might have gotten away from somebody. I just put that up there. This person could be very immature. Wow. Let's see about this three of pentacles, please, spirit. Ah, three of swords. They didn't work with you or they're not working with you. And that breaks them, that, that breaks their heart. What is this? Yeah, they, okay. So they're working with people that they're very, un, maybe they're very shady people or they're just, you know, backup people. What do you call those people? Background people. <laughs> Background people are people who don't stay in your life who come in for some scenario and you can't really remember them very well. Wow. 
yeah, five of cups. This is a deep, deep. They have that came in earlier. Oh my God. Okay, so they are in regret. They're regretting that they hooked up with somebody. They were started working with them, and nothing is working. Nothing is happening with that person. They're maybe they're stuck. Yeah, bad communication. They got to fight. Maybe this person told somebody off. Oh my God. Okay, somebody went overboard with their words, and that cycle has closed potency and they're still really turned on and want you they want it yeah they know that they see your potency could be that this person just sees how potent you are with your energy right now how you're manifesting and creating and um you know them trying to stop you didn't really block you yeah so they're seeing that you have very powerful energy okay you're stronger than they thought you're manifesting and you closing up them cycles and you're saying bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love it. So that they're trying to get come in here and say, no, don't leave. Don't leave me behind. <laughs> yeah, and this eclipse, you see that do you guys know about the eclipse and, and the um Jewish letter that goes across Texas and stuff? This looks like it too. So this is that in the next two week portal, they know that that's the rush you're doing so much there's something happening something coming your way you're gonna get a wish come true you have emotional contentment because you are already there because you have yeah you even have the ten of cups already somebody knows you're getting something very emotionally uh rewarding contentment gratifying let's let's um let's get some more energy here with some different cards Beautiful. This is really okay. So this cycle, this eclipse, <laughs> this eclipse is like eclipsing for sure, for sure. This energy, like you got to go. Um, I want to get the modern deck. I don't know if I have it. Let's see. Um, I don't see my modern deck. Where are you? Okay. I, my table's all messed up. All right, we're just going to do the clip. Oh, greetings from us. Greetings from the U.S. Oh, look what's at the bottom. Totally did not. Yeah, and my candle just went out. I love it. I love when that happens. Okay. So they are, they're running out of time. Okay, they're running out of time, Spirit. Give me some more info. What we need to know about this connection that's coming to an end, that nobody is interested in. Okay, you have somebody's writing, writing this out. <laughs> no, I feel like you've healed a lot. Let me put that in there. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, you crossed that bridge. You cross that difficult, challenging bridge. You are the key, okay? Yeah. Again, you are getting love, but somebody who's going to come in with reciprocal love because you love yourself. Self-love is the new sexy. Okay. Um. So that's beautiful energy. Let me see if I can. Do I want to use these? Yeah, tell me more about this uh here can you guys even see these very well i mean they're really worthy of <laughs> highlighting okay so let's find out more about this two of cups energy crystal visions deck Yeah, ten. The wheel of fortune keeps. Yeah, things are going in your favor. You are highly favored. Okay, things are really lined up for success. <laughs> lined up for your uh, abundance, your prosperity. Something's coming through here. Nine of wands reversed. You don't have to be defensive anymore. You won't have to be defensive with this individual. A 
whole bunch of these are messed up. Oh, I didn't even, this whole deck might be a little bit wonky. All right, it don't matter. It don't matter. We'll just, we'll make you. We'll get the messages that we need to. Okay, so tell me more about, you've been, you've been doing your work, okay? Eight of Wands, communication's coming, baby. Communication, the white horses, okay? Communication's coming from this King of Wands. I get a lot of Leo energy. This person wants, they, they, they want to come into your life, okay? Tell me more about the Two of Cups. Spirit, tell me more about the Two of Cups, please. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of time. It could be four weeks, two weeks, but you're not receptive. Spirit's trying to make you a little more, more receptive and maybe healing your heart, healing your uh yeah oh okay somebody's gonna somebody's trying to send some work definitely okay this came in reversed and this person's got feathers on it damn somebody who you trust or somebody they're really like maybe they're haters maybe they just don't want you to meet somebody they don't want you to be you know committed to someone queen of swords this could be a, a gemini and aquarius or a Libra person. It doesn't matter because you're still getting your wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor. It keeps coming in. Every time I break the deck, it's and I'm not doing that on purpose. It just comes in. So let's see here. So it's it can't be it can't be delayed. It can't be stopped. It can't be deterred. Diverted. Three of swords. Yeah. They, they want you. Ah, what did I tell you? This person sending sending energy so you don't get happiness. But <laughs> the wheel of fortune. Or they already did it. Or they already did it. And now spirit saying, okay, I gave you your chance. Now give me mine. And you're holding on to your pennies here. You're stay stabilizing, sustaining yourself. Um, wow, this is very negative energy but it's going whatever they're throwing it still doesn't stop you from your destiny and your fate okay because what is yours is yours it waits for you it will go to nobody else but you the world <laughs> this was a cycle that's that's what it keeps like i keep feeling that you went through hell and back and that you are cleaning yourself the next two weeks you must purge you must stay very focused laser focused okay uh there will be a lot of distractions a lot of things to try to make you maybe to um fall for lower energy low self-esteem i okay, let's see here okay let's see what jesus wants to say What's the, what's the, the devil? <laughs> like you're going to be tested. I can't show you this picture, can I, if I get closer? Okay, the t it's test time. Eclipse season is, are you going to eclipse the past? Some, somebody's going to try to call you. They're going to try to whoop in, okay? Like a thief in the night when you least expect it, okay? They, they're they going to think that, oh, well, great, you know, this is somebody who broke your heart and already did bad under your, you know, under your eyes. God already put them under judgment that they're no good for you. And you have to keep it pushing. You must say no, you know, because this is going to be a huge temptation. This person, oh my God. Let's just go out for drinks. Let, let's just go have one cup of coffee. They're going to, okay, there's going to be a lot of distractions and temptations to, in the next two weeks. A lot of them. Like, I feel like a lot of things are coming in. This could be bad news on the on the tube. <laughs> yeah, the lovers. They're trying to this could be a Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn that's coming in, trying to swoop in. Yep. Again, four of wands. Look at this beautiful four of wands. Coming in like a gentleman. Oh, can I help you to get down, Miss? <laughs> the four of wands. This is like somebody that is loving, kind, giving. So you're going to be rejecting somebody no, so you can have this. Yeah, that's what it is. You're, there's going to be a, okay, so also for some of you, if you're single and you're not getting all, you've you cleared out all this other energy, 
this person's going to come towards you. Okay. They're not afraid to communicate. This is not somebody who you need to chase or wonder about. That's another energy I'm getting. And that this person um, is going to, you guys are going to choose each other. Oh, there's a lot of sexual attraction here. A lot. This person has been wanting you for a while. They've been moving very slow pace. And again, this may, you know, may or may not be your ex, but uh, somebody really broke your heart. So they purposely broke your heart. Though. That's the thing. Whoever this is from your past or from your present, or there's a storyline here that somebody purposely broke your heart. Okay. And I don't know how that works out. Per, you know, you need a personal, but that's what this somebody i feel like this person's coming back to finish the job <laughs> it's kind of like you got to be extra careful right when you when you started to feel good when you're starting to get out of it they they're they want to keep you stuck they want to keep you stuck see but you have gotten yourself unstuck and you're moving towards love somebody already likes you so the test is that you might confuse this ex for somebody who already is in your energy who likes you. That's the truth. That's the truth. There's a test here where somebody is going to cloak their energy. Yeah, what the heck? Somebody's going to cloak their energy. There's somebody here that's very good at manip manipulating, okay? Okay. Uh, they can rationalize things. They can make sense out of things that really shouldn't be. They mix religion and politics kind of energy. Like it's crazy energy here where they, 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 okay, let me, yeah, strength again. Aha, uh -huh, strength again. So you're going to have the strength to move through this. Your ancestors are with you. You've healed a lot of your woundedness from your, yeah, you're going to walk away from this, Eight of Cups. Somebody, or you already did this. Oh, see, they want you to take, you already did this. You already rejected somebody's offer. So some of you are going to get very rewarded here. Oh my God, 1010 energy. Because you rejected somebody's offer or they mistreated you, the wheels turning in your favor. You've healed this pain. Spirit is bringing in new love. A spiritual love. Look at that together. We saw it at the very beginning. And then as I shuffled, they came out randomly. Okay. Yeah. You've healed a lot of your pain. A lot of your childhood issues. You've healed curses in your family bloodline. And now it's time for you to get justice. Absolutely. You just, you got back from, from Chile. But where are you now, though, if you got back from Chile? I'm, now I'm confused. Okay. Um, but this is beautiful energy. Wow, you guys, this is so cool. Keep, you guys are doing a great job. Keep pushing. I mean, there's a lot to balance here, you know? I mean, you're traveling, my love. Yeah, that there's a lot to balance here. But you're doing a great job. You're able to do it. You've been able to uh, maneuver it all. I used a lot of this deck. It just seems like I lost the portion of it or something. Anything more? Maybe I'm done with this one. Let's see. We want to get. Yeah, we want to get some. Um. Some other messages. Let's see what we have. Children. Know that your children are protected. Okay. They even attacked your children, you guys. They even, they did. Okay. And, uh, but you went through it and, and you're protected. They protected your children. Look, yeah. Ten of Cups. Your children are doing fine. They, sur they survived these tests as well. <laughs> okay. The dragon. Discover your courage. This year you are more courageous than ever before. Or you have you're getting the rewards for being courageous. It's more like you're getting the rewards for being so courageous. 
don't need to, I don't want to cover up the Ten of Cups. They want to give us this one, Archangel Raphael. See, Raphael goes with the twin flame. He brings in the love, the twin love. So, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Okay, it's taken a lot to get you back up. You know, that's what I feel. That's what spirit says. Like, they, you don't know how they really tried to take from you. Now, Raphael, let me tell you a little bit more about Raphael. Uh, he's the fourth chakra. And he's about love, compassion, self-acceptance. Exactly. Receptivity and action. So this is blocked as an abandonment wound. Okay. So this is these are blocked abandonment wound issues that uh, God is healing. Okay. And this is what's been blocking a lot of these connections that, you know, you, you give up, you throw in the towel. Uh, I hate to say this. I'm not even advocating it, but you cut your wrist, you know, uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet energy where they gave up and they yet they loved each other that. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of Romeo Juliet energy. OK, so um, this is about that survival and you have to heal everything. OK, and, and that's the that's the big challenge that that has been a huge challenge not to be manipulated by others to, to go by what we love not but what others love you know what i mean look at this <gasps> boomy mother earth wow oh my god i love this energy don't want to cover up my third eye <laughs> i'm gonna drop my candles <gasps> look at that oh that's gorgeous let me read it to you okay it says Oh, Boomi, you are girded by the oceans and the mountains are your beasts. Oh, wife of Vishnu, I offer you my salutations. Forgive me for treating, for treading on you. So this has to do with, you're going to get fertile land. You're, you have a lot of fertility right now. You all might be very uh, fertile with making babies or whatever you're putting your hands on as projects and work. Expansion. This is Jupiterian energy, expansion and growth profusion of natural resources so you're making do with what you have and not uh outsourcing right now protection of the natural environment your natural boobed natural nails natural hair if you're not hey that's okay i'm not advocating for any anything that's wrong or, you know but i i have if you're having a baby you know you gotta be careful because even hair color so maybe some of you are going to be having a baby. Maybe you did have a baby. Maybe you became new moms. And you, when you do, you you go all natural. That's when you decide to go like all natural because anything hurts the baby, it's a no no. So some of you, you're you're taking better care of your inner child, your inner baby girl, baby boy, with more natural things, more natural products. You're you're enjoying your organic uh, beauty. That's what I feel. You're enjoying your organic beauty, and oh boy, does it look good on you. Okay, so we have the cow. Oh, this is good. Carrier of Shiva. Nande, Nande, Nande. And, and yes, I love Jesus, but I, I incorporate everything on this channel. So this is offer salutations to the humped white bull. This is very powerful in the Native American, I believe, the, the white. So whose neck is decorated with bells? He is the carrier of the blue throated Shiva. Yeah. Now, the throat, the, you know why this came out? Because they have been attacking our throat chakra, trying to keep us quiet. Try, you know, the shh, put your finger in front of your, your lips. Shh, we don't say anything. We keep this secret, little boy, little girl. <laughs> you want some candy? Um, yeah, so this is, so they're trying to, they've been trying to get to our throat chakra, by the way, okay? FYI, if you didn't know, you know. He is the carrier of the blue throat Shiva, the embodiment of Dharma, as unshakable as the Himalayas. So you were dealing with a player from the Himalayas. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that X is a player. Okay, so this is going to give you grace of Shiva and Parvati. So this is like grace from the divine feminine, divine masculine template for making couples, having community, making a, a family. I mean. Ability to carry out one's duty. Yeah, you stay true to what the assignment was, my loves. You stay true. Ability for ever increasing service, knowledge, and understanding of one's duty. Yeah, you know, I, I, I did a reading 
you know what the assignment is. Like, you know what you got to do. Like, you've never, you've never waved off the assignment. They've tried to take you out, but they can't even try that. You know, they have to take you out for you to get off the assignment and you're not getting out. <laughs> spirit. I'm sorry. This is giggle energy. It makes me laugh because um, people are just desperate and they don't know that you are a loyal one. You're extremely loyal to what you're dedicated to is your family, higher love, good vibes. Okay, pay attention to your dreams. Somehow I'm remembering dreams, which is scary because my dreams tend to be like three to four years ahead of time when I remember them. Okay, you're getting an answered prayer. Okay, I, I've been cleaning up and I've been looking at all the answered prayers that God has given me, that has God has blessed me with in my family. And I'm just, um, you know, because I got pushed back really far back. And it was like everything I had to, you know, everybody did get out of that pit. And so be thankful for what you have. Okay. Because you'll get more. And there's another answer of prayer coming. So don't doubt it. So the full moon is happening. This eclipse um, is very emotional. Perhaps it might have to do with your mother. It might have to do with secrets. I mean, all of the above. Let's see. Okay. We get the moon energy. We're going to go straight into my. Uh, what is the name of this deck? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, here it is. Galactic Heritage Cards. Okay. That's what they are. All right. So let's see here. Tell me more about this moon energy on this eclipse today, please. Renewed hope. Okay. So there's there's renewed hope. Uh, you can open up your throat chakra. Speak it out. Living in the now. Some of you have to live in the now, okay? You, you've decided to like let go of the past. That's great. Pisces season helped you very much. You passed the test and you're ready for change. You're ready for change. You're ready to move forward. You're ready for the spring cleaning on the house. The feminine principle, exactly. You're nesting. You're cleaning everything. You're making things. You're making room for the new. You're enlightened, okay? Your future is be coming because you've been enlightened. Look at that. This, you are enlightened. Huh. Okay. So let's see what else we got. Association of world. So you're very interested in the community or you're going to be, or you're dealing with something with the community. That's in the future. Dream time and awakening. Okay. So maybe your dreams are coming true or pay attention to the correlation of your dreams and your waking world imbalance so in the past there was an imbalance to the positive like you thought what was positive wasn't positive and you weren't going in the right direction in the past so now you have more solar consciousness um you're more aligned your will is aligned more with a better future that's sustainable so like i think like we passed through all these like um experiences from our past thinking that they were going to go one way and the outcome that we got didn't really correlate to what we were doing or trying to get so i feel like we're learning how to manifest by and, and manifest with the results that ultimately we'll be happiest with and so there's like a big revamp in the solar plexus our will like you know sometimes you, you can't have it all you have to sacrifice things and you have to really focus on those things that need, like, you know, cut the fat. And, you know, some of you maybe want to get better shape too. Like you're really focusing on your, on your core, solar consciousness, solar uh, plexus. So you can get stuff done because you're very single minded. Okay. Or in the past, you just maybe did things in a linear way. You didn't, you didn't think that you didn't think things could be done in different ways. And now you're more open. You're more mutable. You can change it up when you need to. And before you were very fixated or traumatized. I think you were traumatized. You were too um, in, in freeze mode in the past is what I get. So you're be beyond wisdom. So yeah, now, yeah, Archangel Michael came and protected all that. Let me close the, you don't have to hear everything. Sorry about that. And then, so wisdom, you're beyond wisdom now. You know a lot better and you've birthed and expanded here. And then the initiation and ceremony. 
yeah, you're ready to get initiated and have a ceremony for all the things. But right now, spirit's telling you, hang on. There's a spiritual higher love coming and confirmation spiritual higher love, you know, with the two of, sorry for the glare. Okay. So I hope everyone's doing good. <laughs> good day, Veronica. Oh my goodness. All the beautiful ladies in the house. Let's get some more messages that we got some more vibes. Awesome. Happy Sunday. I feel a new, do you guys feel more renewed energy like uh, from this eclipse? I feel like I took like a energetic um, spiritual bath with the universe last night or something. And I have been busy, busy, busy. How are you guys doing? Energized or are you guys tired? You're in Maryland. Oh, how cool. Oh my God, girl, you're out of town. You're out of the reach of your mama. You better check in. <laughs> Lucky you. Lucky you. I'm jealous. I'm jelly. I hope you're there for something good. For, um for some good work, good company. Well, very admirable. I love it. She's a jet setter. I don't suggest anybody go to Texas for the eclipse. Really, you really not should not be, um, you know, moving so much. You should be in familiar territory. Okay, now we have the Knight of Cups. Let's see whose energy this is. Uh, it, it looks like somebody wants to apologize. Oh, somebody, <laughs> somebody wants to apologize, but they're like, it's dead. Like I heard you lost that loving feeling. <laughs> you, I didn't, it, the song is not even those lyrics. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Wow. They took way too long. Yeah. They see you as the Empress. Now you're abundant. You're a jet setter. <laughs> yeah, you're making shh happen. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, this person, the secret is that they probably killed the vibes. Like either they were too sexual or they had some secret sexual tendencies. I, I don't want to get into that. Yeah, this person still likes you. They like the sex with you too. <laughs> yeah, you're not into it. You're like, oh, um, oh yeah, you're not into it. You're not, you've left the scene. You've left, Elvis has left the building. They don't have what it takes anymore. Like they need, they don't have the momentum. You know, I don't think you respect them anymore. Like a man, you see them more than less than, like they're not going to cut it. You know, you, you can run circles around this person. This is sad. Ew. Oh, I, I let me get... <laughs> Let me get my rich boyfriend to take me. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. We'd be dangerous together. We have, we'd be in trouble. Just take me on a hike and I'll be out. Because I know you're very uh, athletic. No, you're not athletic, but you're in very good shape. You're, you're very good, healthy, healthy shape. Okay, let's see what we have. We have one, two, three. Four major arcana, so half the deck. But you have, see, also for you, I get it could have been a, a slow jump start, but now you're now you're getting up and going. Now now you're like, okay, ain't nothing gonna stop me. Like you have you have like your head your your map. You know you have something designated for you that you're very impassioned about that you you've slowly built. This is like something that's yours. It's just divinely yours, but you're taking your sweet time with it. Okay. You're not, but you're very passionate about it. You're very, pa it could be, you're just a very passionate, vivacious person too. You could be a fire sign or you have, you have a lot more energy now with, with this. Yeah. Like I was telling you, I have a lot more long-term goals. Yeah, exactly. You are on, you are. Okay. This doesn't make sense because these cards don't really look that great, but never mind that. 
you guys are on fire for your life for something else for something that you want you know you're i think you're just like not on fire you're just you know full of life for life and you're deciding slowly but surely what you're going to do you're not pressing yourself you're growing organically you're enjoying everything in life right now okay you might be on vacation with your kids or you might be in a a place that reminds you of a lot of childhood memories or just good happy feeling um yeah happy feeling yeah that that song oh that came through that's a great song okay black lake okay orion in the past there was somebody that was like a, trying to kill you trying to kill your vibe they were trying to uh stop you from being happy what were they trying to do spirit Oh, you have a trekking group and a kayaking and a biking. Oh my God. I'm my, I would have, I don't, <laughs> I'm in such bad shape, but I appreciate that. Yeah. You, so now you have blind enthusiasm. Thank you, my love. I really appreciate it. Now you have blind enthusiasm, but you're also very skeptical about things. Okay. You're not, um, you're not jumping in head first. Or maybe you did in the past and that that could be what got you in trouble wow anyway don't don't jump head first into anything check everything out what is this spiritual technology oh there's some secrets with spiritual technology what the heck is this okay number 23 which is um kobe's number Kobe is number 23. Where's the book I just had on that? I just took it out. Oh my God. I'm gonna trump, I'm gonna trip myself out. Trump myself out. What happened to the book? Hold on, now I gotta open this because I got hot. Um number 23, where are ya? I just had the book. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's not meant to. Or here it is. Yeah. I'm trying to hide stuff from me. Okay. I want to look at this number 23 and what this means. Because I have the book. Might as well. Might as well get into it. 23. Because these are all like specific cards. 22. Okay, I was going to say, what? They don't have 23? And this came in reversed. Okay, so it says uh, 23 is spiritual vega. No, not spiritual vega. Where are you? 22. This is crazy. They don't. Okay, the ancient vegan mystics became quite adept at creating spiritual technology. This refers to using tools such as crystals, wands, geometry, and so on to enhance spiritual experiences or perform a function such as cleansing the energy in a home or healing a person. Originally, these tools were meant to be an enhancement of spiritual practices, but over time, the ve the vegans, these not the vegans, this is the, the planetary uh, people, vegans, became dependent on them and forgot that the power was not in the objects. This was a profound lesson for them. Examine how you use spiritual tools now. Do you depend on them more than your own inner power? Wow. So we're, we're getting more uh, gifts. We're getting more ability to use and access our gifts. And we can't, we can't really lean into other stuff. So what it says is in a middle, in, in a middle development era of the Vega civilizations, a branch of spiritual science began to focus on spiritual technology. What is spiritual technology? It is technology that assists spiritual development. It can range from external tools such as crystals. Why, why am I repeating everything? Okay, this is, oh my God. All tools are neutral and can be used in a balanced way, an addictive way or a way that controls others. Okay, so this error in the Vega civilizations was a challenging one and it connects to the error on Earth. It represent, 
in the present day where many are looking for spiritual shortcuts instead of doing the real deep inner work necessary for spiritual transcendence. If this card appears in your reading, it could mean different things depending on the surrounding cards, your life circumstances and past karma. Perhaps it may imply that you are becoming too addicted to spiritual technology and need to look at your inner self as a source of evolution, or perhaps the opposite is true. Perhaps you can benefit by investigating spiritual technology in a balanced way. Could also be pointing to past lives in the Atlantis, which dealt with the misuse of technology. Go within and examine what this card means in the context of other factors mentioned above. So some of you, um, this could be like just, I hate to say it, but this could be watching too much porn. I should I added, I shouldn't have said that. P O R N. <laughs> These are secrets, right? And then this is sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Yeah. So this is maybe the masculine is just getting entertained by, and they're staying away because of um, the inability to control their P O R. -N. Habit alone time <laughs> that makes sense. They want alone. Okay, so that that has separated this this spirit. This technology has also separated man and woman. But um, you're okay. Alone time. We so this person somebody is alone a lot. Somebody is alone a lot. Okay, I don't know why they're telling me that, but that's what they're saying. Let's see what else they want to tell me. Okay, yeah. No, where is my... Where are you? You know what? We'll just use the Hidden Truth deck and see what... What the secrets are. So somebody... I kind of feel like somebody stays a lot to themselves. Somebody's like on the computer, interacting, interfacing with the computer a lot. It kind of could be a lot of sexual stuff. But I feel like... We want to know the secrets of why they're suppressing their emotions. So we got the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. So many things remind me of you. Somebody can't forget you. Somebody, okay. So somebody's pulling at your energy. Okay, definitely. They please themselves to your, to your information. <laughs> what is that? They please themselves. It's like they want more information on you. Maybe somebody is online and somebody's pleasing themselves, but that's okay. It was my fault, but I blamed you. This is somebody you know. This is somebody who, you know, got swept away thinking that something was greener. The grass was greener on the other side and you were, you were it. You were the Sunday with the banana, you know, and the cherry on top. You were it. You were the best thing in my life. They're real. <laughs> exactly. Okay. We don't know who this mystery person is. Yeah, this is what the deck I wanted. Let's see. Let's leave you off with this Oracle deck again. The um. Uh, what's it called? Helpful hand. Helping soul. You helped yourself with out of the situation. You are you are very abundant. Nature is calling you. Ah, Carolina, look at that. We could you could do the hiking and the biking and the kayaking. That's it. You are the nature girl. Everybody, let's all go on a trip with Carolina. Okay. Every I want everyone to come with me. <laughs> nature is calling you. It wants to touch, fulfill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my love. Nature is calling. It wants you to touch, fulfill, and protect you with healing powers. Okay, so this, this hike is super important. Um, going out, being out in nature. Release your inner rebel. Yeah. Some of you are hermiting. It's time. You're going to be have to coming out of your shell, and you're going to have to release that inner rebel, and somebody's not going to like it. 
leave your usual social circles behind. Yeah. Seek out the com companions. Yeah. You're not really into um, hanging out with certain people from the past or a certain crowd anymore. You've bypassed that energy time. The time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. I think you are making progress. This is very grounding brown energy with the green. So I think you guys are doing really well. Obviously, this person's still stuck on you, but they're not. Oh, I've never seen this one. A light filled angel is at your side. It touches over you at every dark doorway. Wow. So you were very protected. You were very protected. You were, you were, you were attacked. Okay. You were definitely this person was dark. They were into dark things. It could have been that they picked up spiritual, sexual habits and demons and stuff, and they wanted to attach that to you. And they wanted to manipulate you and use you, but you're 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 too much of a white light soul. You're too much of a pure being, and you weren't meant you didn't come to do, do all that. Success and happiness are coming and joy and celebrate life. So in the next two weeks, you might be the more that you uh, the okay the more that you go for what you want you will attract success the more you live in fear you're not going to attract what you want and you want to attract you know you you'll be you'll be kind of tied to this old uh cycle like going going down the drain like not really getting anywhere like just going around and around in circles to somebody you'll be bound to somebody if you don't go for what you want enter the temple of your truth and lean and learn to value it okay so you're i i feel like many of you which is like me you're not the same person that this person met so they're going to be meeting somebody new and it's like you have to reintroduce the new you you're on like the other um the other reading was you're under reconstruction and now you haven't really you're not really that yeah and that lady <laughs> that was funny i forgot to put that together and then okay so one of the readings is you're under reconstruction and then and then like one of the the other readings i think they're just two days in a row i walked into this place where the lady said we're we're having our grand opening on april 1st so during this retrograde it might be even more challenging for you to come out because communication uh is going to be retrograde but you're being guided please come out please you know uh express yourself please don't let that stop you because some there that energy not only astrologically uh is the energy going to be like contra it but you need to com still continue to express yourself to put your makeup on to do your things like she's really like a peacock here you know just completely uh not afraid of being who she needs to be you know showing her beauty she's not a, please, please don't be afraid to show your beauty is what i hear yeah so i love that i love that and then the last message that they want to let you know is I replay our conversations over and over and over and over again. So somebody can, that has you uh, on record, they're you're, they're looping your energy, they're looping you, your conversations with them specifically. Um, but they can't have you. That's why they're very stressed. They can't have this beautiful energy. You're grounded and you're protected by God and love. You're abundant. You're very fertile too. Some of you be very careful with your cycles. If you, uh, I don't, I wouldn't be entertaining SEX at this time because you are so fertile and some people want to take your energy. You know, this has a lot to do with, they want to take some of that juicy, yummy, wonderful, clean energy that you have and they want to utilize it for themselves. And they would do nothing but bad things with your energy. You know, they would, they would so... It's better for you to conserve it and use it for yourself until you feel really safe, really secure with who you can share it with. I mean, it just seems like, oh, that's a no brainer, but it's harder. It's so much harder to do. It's easier to say, but it's so much harder to do. So keep pouring into yourself with self love and grooming yourself. 
<laughs> Thank you. There's always, exactly, there's always these energy vampires. They suck. I want to suck your blood. They want to suck your energy, basically. So even with your friends, you have to be real careful. You know, start picking people who are, um, you can you can feel good about what they do, who they are. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I really appreciate all the love. Thank you, Carolina, for being here. I appreciate you, my love, as always. I'm getting back on track. I'm almost there. So much love and light. Have a beautiful day. And we'll be catching up soon. Take care.